So let's say you had a custom character with, for example, the character controller and some other scripts, for example, full body pipette IK. Uh, let me just raise that a little bit. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make it a ragdoll character. So just to add ragdoll components, we can use the pipette ragdoll creator in Puppet Master. Click on create a ragdoll. And basically now we have a character with all the colliders and joints and uh, rigid bodies. And now if we need to make it a puppet and use with Puppet Master, we just add Puppet Master component. In here we have uh, just a couple of uh, variables here. We have character controller layer and ragdoll layer. That is just here to uh, make sure that your uh, ragdoll colliders don't collide with the uh, character controller. Uh, so it will just uh, set those uh, two parts up on different layers. Uh, so we click on Setup Puppet Master. Now what has happened, the Puppet Master has uh, changed and also the hierarchy of the character has uh, changed. Uh, here we have uh, the root transform, that is basically the root container of the entire character. And uh, here is actually actually the character with all the controllers and uh, IK and all your other scripts. It doesn't have any uh, ragdoll components on it because all the ragdoll components are uh, here under Puppet Master. When I expand that, I see we, we have all all the bones here with uh, rigid bodies, colliders, and joints. So basically, Puppet Master keeps the physics part completely separate from uh, the character. And it's good for a number of reasons. First of them is performance. Otherwise, if uh, we had all the colliders on uh, those transforms here, then uh, doing some IK on, on it or, or, or stuff like that would be really expensive because uh, making those transformations forces physics to recalculate the colliders each time and uh, you don't want to do that and also it is very easy uh, to just uh, deactivate all the uh, physics part of the character just by going to Puppet Master and uh, switching simulation mode to disabled which will just uh, deactivate the entire ragdoll. This one here is the behavior root so all uh, the puppet behaviors for example the behavior puppet and behavior fall and uh, other ones coming in the future will uh, be parented to this one. And that's basically uh, it about the setup of uh, Puppet Master characters.